Welcome to the peak performance video for the NK180 Pro electric kayak outboard motor. Now that you've gone through the quick start, you've got everything set up and you're ready to rock with your motor, I want to tell you a little bit about how to get the best performance out of this motor. You really want to be able to take advantage of that 16% increase in speed, 25% quieter motor, and 25% more efficient motor. But there's a couple things you need to know that are gonna really allow you to maximize those features. Running depth is really important for achieving the appropriate top speed with your motor, and it also helps with efficiency moving the kayak through the water. I like to start with the steering triangle about one inch from the top of the motor shaft. So you see here, there's about a one inch space where you can see that brushed aluminum texture before the cables exit the top of the motor. I like to start about right there. Some of these larger fishing kayaks that sit pretty high out of the water, you'll want to maximize that running depth and, and sit that steering triangle right at the top of the motor shaft. For some of those lower profile kayaks, you'll be able to use a shallower running depth. So this will allow you to achieve operation in much shallower conditions, which in certain settings can be a big deal. To adjust the running depth of your motor, you'll simply loosen this hardware where the steering triangle is held to the motor shaft and slide the motor up or down. Now this collar here is gonna stop the motor from sliding up if it hits the drum. So you may have to move this down depending on how much you wanna change the running depth, but that's all you need to do is loosen this hardware and then push up to raise the motor, the running depth of the motor up or down. If the running depth on your motor is not set deep enough, you'll notice a little bit of cavitation at times with the prop, especially when you're turning left or right. So if you notice a little bit of that airy feeling around the prop or the prop not grabbing water efficiently, just drop that running depth about one inch at a time until you achieve smooth propulsion. And you shouldn't get any feelings of cavitation or, or that your prop isn't grabbing the water and propelling you forward efficiently. So if you have that feeling, go ahead and drop that running depth a little bit. I like one inch increments when you adjust that. The next thing you'll wanna pay attention to is the trim setting. And this has a big effect on how efficiently your kayak moves through the water. That'll really help you maximize that 25% enhanced range and efficiency. So with that trim setting ideally positioned, you're gonna be able to push your kayak through the water with less effort. With the whole design of kayaks being displacement holes and not planing holes, this trim setting can have a big impact. So you want the, the kayak to be rather level moving through the water. That'll allow the kayak to carry a momentum and essentially help the motor a little bit propel the kayak more effortlessly through the water. The next thing that's gonna help you achieve peak performance is maintaining your electrical connections in both the quick disconnect plug and the throttle control cable. So those little terminal ends, those metal parts on the plug ends, you'll wanna apply some type of electrically conductive anti-corrosive spray like a dielectric grease to all those fittings, um, especially something that's suited for use on O-rings. Um, but this will help kind of cut down corrosion over time and really protect those electrical connectors and keep that conductivity top notch. The last thing that I think really plays into the performance of the motor is where you locate your battery. You know, if you have a bigger 100 amp hour battery, say, even with a lithium chemistry, it's a pretty significant amount of weight. So just moving it to the proper location on your kayak, helping to balance the load, can really take a lot of stress off the motor and really allow you to take advantage of that enhanced efficiency that we tout with the NK180 Pro. One thing you'll wanna do periodically to keep your motor performing at top notch is to pull the prop off periodically, inspect the prop shaft and remove any debris, fishing line, anything like that from the prop shaft to keep this motor functioning smoothly. You also want to inspect the edges of the prop to make sure they're smooth and sharp. Over time, especially depending on the body of water 
you're fishing or how often you might run aground, you know, the edges of the prop can get torn up and that can cause a little bit of unwanted vibration. So keeping an extra prop on hand can be a good idea. Also inspecting to make sure that you don't have too much damage to the edges of the prop. That'll help your quietness and it'll also help the motor uh, move more efficiently. Thanks for tuning in and learning how to keep your NK180 Pro functioning at peak performance. Well, with all the awesome upgrades of this motor, we know you're gonna love it. Have fun, fish hard, and remember, the way forward is electric.